yesterday. Top of that, top of that horrible hill. got a muscle spasm as soon as I we were gonna leave the villa which is great and that's definitely from yesterday because the last time I got a muscle spasm sorry the music is so loud I don't know why it's this loud I'm probably gonna get copyrighted for this <laughs> no, no. No. so yeah I got a muscle spasm really really bad and the last time I had this was when I over exercised was doing loads of different ab workouts that I'd never done before in like a few days in a row <clears throat> I mentioned it in a vlog a while back and it's obviously from yesterday for overdoing it and I've been in the taxi trying to stretch my back out but it's not the best time to get a muscle spasm when you're sitting in you know confined spaces and carrying heavy bags all day long but so I'm very looking forward to getting in a bed when we arrive and yeah we are going to Kuala Lumpur Malaysia because all of our flights stopped over in Malaysia or Singapore. We've been to Singapore, so we thought, well, we should stop over in Kuala Lumpur and just stay there for a few days before we head to our next destination. So, yeah, we're staying at a really nice resort, and we're just gonna chill for a few days, and I'm really looking forward to it, because I've never, I've never, I don't really know much about Kuala Lumpur at all, so, yeah, we just found this little place called Love Place, and we've got a smoothie and a falafel, so that's gonna be a good brekkie. I like how at airports all rules go out the window when it comes to food and what time to eat them. Like people have burgers at like nine in the morning. I'm so hungry. Me too, I'm starving. Yeah. That was pretty good for airport food. Like, top notch falafel. And I've had a lot of falafel. I'm seriously struggling. You look like one. Can't straighten my back. Come on. Come on, dear. I mean, what the hell? What are the chances? <laughs> of all the places they could have chosen, they choose Cornwall. That's so cool. So we're 12,848 kilometers away. That's so crazy. Love that they choose places like San Diego, Oahu, Gold Coast, and Cornwall, England. Yeah. This thing is slower than someone walking really slowly. Like Alex is beating me and <laughs> he's walking really slowly. I don't understand the point. Now we wait.
and said, oh, here's for your free meal. And we're like, hold on. We didn't get told that there was a free meal. And um, she's like, yeah, yeah, there's a free meal with this flight. And I said, yes, no, I understand. But there was no, like, didn't say that when we booked it. Because normally when you book a, like when we booked the flight to Thailand, um, it said about the meal and it said if you had any special dietary requirements, etc. So, um, didn't say anything like that and obviously now we're not gonna we're gonna miss out on free meal because we won't be able to eat whatever it is that they've prepared because it won't be vegan which is very annoying so malaysian airlines is going to be having a word with you because we won't be able to eat the free meal which is sad um and the air hostess was not very helpful because she was kind of just like oh no it comes to the free meal we're like no i understand but it didn't say that she's like oh no it does and it's, it's kind of like not very helpful so what is it? First beer in how long? First beer in how long? A few weeks. A few weeks? Oh, the last one was in Thailand, wasn't it? You had one It's like the worst beer in the world. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Thank you. We are in Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur, like an hour away. <laughs> My back did not enjoy that flight. Oh, this is a struggle, real struggle. Just waiting on our bike. So after a little kerfuffle getting the car rental, we got a car and the bikes are successfully in. It's a very small little car, but the, the bike boxes fit in there. Luckily, the, we booked a car, but um, they didn't have the one we wanted and then they didn't have any with any car seats that went down. So we had to get another one. But Alex has just run upstairs to go get a SIM card for the next couple of days because it's really cheap to get a SIM card. And that means we can use internet. So. Just waiting on him in this exceedingly hot car. There was aircon on, then he left, and when the car goes off, the aircon doesn't work, and I can't figure it out. So I'm very hot right now, and my back is killing me, and I just want to get into the hotel and lie down and then go get some dinner. Sorry, I've been moany these last two days. I feel like all I've done is moan, moan, moan. I'm very grateful to be here, and I'm really excited for Kuala Lumpur. Just traveling, the actual travel isn't that nice it's pretty sucky isn't it so um looking forward to be settled in the resort and maybe i'll give you a little glimpse and then um you can see it probably the next couple of days but i think we'll probably only vlog maybe one day here um just because we want to chill out because we've had just such an intense like we just haven't stopped and even in Bali we were like when we go to the north of Bali on our own we were like chill out and we didn't we every day we were doing stuff because we got so excited so tomorrow we're having a day off and then um I'll probably vlog Saturday either on my channel or on this channel and then yeah just be nice to just relax for a few days um it's what we need and not do a whole lot so we're kind of the place we're staying isn't really in Kuala Lumpur it's like on the outskirts it's maybe I think it's like an hour or an hour and a half away from Kuala Lumpur. So we're probably only gonna go into Kuala Lumpur maybe on one day, which I think would be enough to see some stuff. Um, obviously, ideally we'd spend more time, but um, when you're tired, you kind of just have to do what you wanna do, not force yourself to do touristy things just because you should. You wanna like do what makes you feel good and what make, what make you feel good over the next few days is lots of sleep and lots of chilling out, catching up on work, watching some of The Bachelorette and yeah, just having a nice few days. That's kind of all I want right now. So, and obviously my body is telling me to chill out with the cycling if I'm getting muscle spasms. So um, it's a good few days to take off from cycling and I don't think we're gonna unpack them. There's no point really. So yeah, I'm just chatting to you to pass time because Knowing Alex, he'll probably be a little while, and I have no internet, so I'm just kind of sat here with not a great deal to do. <sighs> so hot. 
Look at how red my face is. I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. I have the Bachelorette downloaded on my laptop for the, for the plane journey and I can just watch this. And I was right at the end when we started landing. So, well, not right at the end, but I was right there. We're just about to do the rose ceremony. So, yes. I really did have some great conversations tonight and I want to hold on to those because that's what carried me through the night. He's back finally. Oh my God, I've never been happier to see you. Why did you put the aircon on yourself? Because it wouldn't go on. I didn't know how to do <laughs> you don't it. Know how to put a key in the ignition. I did put the key in the ignition, uh, but I didn't want to turn the car on. Oh, you silly. So, what are you supposed to do? You just turn it in. Yeah. You don't, you don't turn it in so it like. Yeah, I did turn it on like this, and then it wouldn't go on. Oh, well, maybe, it, maybe it's one of those that doesn't go cold until you turn the engine on. Well, you press that. Press the AC button. Okay, well, you, when you go out, all you have to do is you have to press the thingy, the tannoy thing, whatever it's yeah. tannoy, not tannoy. Press the thing you say I want to go out and then give them the registration number. Okay. Or type it in or something. He just came over and told me because he wanted to go upstairs. Ah, okay. So let's. Present. What is it? It's a little ring thing that you lost. What do you mean? You put it on your phone and it's like a stand and you can put your finger in it so you hold it. What's it's on it? It's the little. Isn't that Doraemon? What? What's you, you, you wanted a thing. Though. What is it though? It's like a cartoon character. <laughs> That's not the same thing as the thing that I had. I know, but it's funny. <laughs> You're a dork. Thank you. <laughs> Alex is a gift guy. A gift That's guy. Weird, gift it? buyer. If you um, have ever looked into the love languages, uh, Alex is. What's it? I don't know what the official term is it, but you give gifts and you like affection. So. I am quality time and acts of service. So we clash with our love languages, so it makes it a bit tricky sometimes. But we get by. I think I'm gonna crash this car. Oh no, I'm not quality time and acts of service. What am I talking <laughs> about? I'm acts of service and words, like speaking, like communication. I don't know what the official thing is, but you know what I mean. If you don't know what love language is, mm. I'll go take the quiz. I'll leave it below. Alex will leave it below. <laughs> Alex is putting on the windscreen because, because wipers. The normal indicator. Also, it's an automatic, and Alex doesn't know how to drive an uh, automatic. I'll get the hang of it. <laughs> and we're out of here. How do I know what gear I'm in? What the? F <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> it's a good thing they drive. Please don't there. crash. Yeah. I'm so excited to be here. <sighs> we'll save, like, maybe let's do a tour of this place tomorrow morning. Yeah, not now. We'll save it for tomorrow. We're so tired. We're gonna chill out, get some food, and enjoy ourselves. I'm so excited to be here. So we'll see Pretty you in swanky. tomorrow's video. Yeah, I'm excited to be like at a posh resort. <laughs> like, we haven't stayed anywhere like this, so. No. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>